Ah, ngambek. So there's so soon. Today we're Be going careful, to... Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring yeah, we're at you. Going to oh, on. I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Maho. I might get.
Nak pulang perah Makan Oh la opera Opera La opera La opera Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What'll we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? I hate. That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sherilton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. Journey? I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys! You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has yeah, agreed, boy. so this matter is no longer open to debate. Who's the old Mila? I've actually been in the deep wood before, but there's a first time for everything.
quite a dense forest. Let's try to stick together, okay? Wanna fight? What was that? Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Oh, I see a way through! Hurry up, you two! Great, even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go. I'm not so good with these tight passages. Must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way. <sighs> that thing's got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! <laughs> Damn it. I... I can help. You healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Our wounds are healed. Did Elise do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. But wait, hold on! I can help! Burn! 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 A grand victory! Yeah, that was amazing, Elise. Me. That was exhausting. Imagine, a little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. Okay. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elise's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. It's That's not how it looks to me! You were getting along better before! I'll I do guess. my best, okay? Yeah. Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey, don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here! Level 99 on the friendship meter! Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch, don't you think so? Yeah, Agreed. Please. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> what luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride.
Intelligent. Arroz Okay, this should do. My Lilium Orb is coming along nicely. She always knows exactly what to pick. How I envy that. Yay! One step closer to adulthood! Timo! Don't say that so loud. You're embarrassing me. You have 
have big hands. Interesting. No wonder you pack quite a punch. Well. Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know? She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? Huh. I didn't expect such vanity huh. from the Lord of Spirits. Sylph styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You had the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. Hmm. Where? Yeah. This is no proper place for a city boy like me.
think we can squeeze through here. Better make sure none of us get our clothes stuck. Everyone okay? Where... <coughs> Where is everybody? The smoke. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> ah. uh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. <coughs> Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose... <coughs> you can't stop crying. Doesn't bother me. What a bunch of crybabies. Huh. No this one is mine.
Don't get killed. Demon thing! Burn! This must be a side effect from Lincoln. Oh, 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 you ready? Fighting the only answer? All right. Stop. This is the power. 
power of Maxwell. I feel mu- No matter what. Everyone could use a break here and there. Me too. What did do someone like?
Well. If we must attack, <laughs> all right, nice job.
Okay, that is the end of the episode. Come on, over again. We meet again. They don't look ready to turn tail and run this time. Get along, little doggies! I sure wasn't expecting him. What are you doing here? Good dogs. Thank you for telling me of these intruders. I thought Ivor was the only one who could talk with animals. You're Jow, right? Mm -hmm. I don't remember introducing myself. We heard your name from the people of Hamel. What do you want? Is that not obvious? Come, child. We're returning to the village. No, you bro. had me worried sick. I never thought you would leave the village while I was away. No, no, no! Don't let him take us, Jude! Do you have any idea how the villagers treated Elise when you left her alone? I am truly sorry about that. What exactly is Elise to you? Let's just say, I know where she used to live. Where she grew up. Liar! So will you take her back to her home? Or are you planning to lock her up in her mill again? That is my business, and mine alone. You will hand the girl over. Nah, bro. Then you leave me no choice. Yeah. The bigger they Let's are, fight. Right? You need need to come with me. No, I don't want to. Please listen to me. Well, you're one to talk. Oh, no fear. <laughs> No mercy! Go! Roger! fire! Stay strong! Let's go! Roger! Oh, unfortunate. Girls don't like pesky guys. Ain't that right? Um, well, you're not much better. Ouch. Keep that up, I'll sew your mouth up. <laughs> I won't let anyone down. All right. I hope I can get. Yeah, bro. Could you well, wait? Let me guess. You work out? Why must you remain wait. with these people? Cause you wait. They will bring you nothing but trouble. I'm sure of it. I want to stay with them because they made me their friend. Cause you wait down. <laughs> Elise. Mila, Alvin. If it were up to me, I would not bring her back. I am not doing this by choice. You wait. You wait, Jow, go back to Just put that away. Go back to me. What? Cover your mouth up! Yeah, boy. You don't want to be alone, huh? 
Then perhaps all of those people are actually good for you after all. Those are smoke shroom spores. Clever monsters will wait until their prey gets near one. Then they'll hit the smoke shroom with a rock and take down the prey while its eyes and nose are clouded with spores. And for its part, the smoke shroom gets to spread its spores over a wider area. When life forms help each other like that, it's called symbiosis. Oh, okay. You're so smart, like one of those monsters you talked about. So 
Does that mean people and spirits have symbiosis huh. too? That's right. Humans give mana to the spirits, and the spirits use arts to help people. It's a perfect example of symbiosis. Well done, Elise. Thank you. That's incredible! Ellie's the smartest of all! Don't worry, I'm here with you. Did you get yours? I'm not sure. One day, I just noticed it was inside Tipo. I found it on the ground. It was so pretty, I couldn't help myself. You ate it? Let's be glad Tipo <laughs> did. She wouldn't stand a chance out here without it. For a tool of battle, it really is quite beautiful. The humans who designed it did quite a fine job. A marvel born of the same human ingenuity that has spawned so many horrors. Well said. Perhaps it's that very duality that defines humans. So we'll see guys on the next one when we don't have to fight Joe anymore. Thank you.